What is going on, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video today. Thank you guys for coming. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content. Now today's battle is a OU match against Sensake and... This was a really long battle, so uh, just be prepared for that. But this was a really fun match, so that's why I'm posting it, gosh darn it. And I'm going to be bringing uh, Porygon Z with the Z Power Breakneck Blitz. We have a Life Orb, Salazzle, Twist Scarf, Vigavolt, Primarina, Focus Sash, Lycanroc, and Alolan Persian. The main threats on my opponent's side is going to be uh, Sableye, Porygon 2, and we'll see like Mugzale here and uh, his own Slazzle and then Mimikyu. Now on the start of the match, I don't want to get hit by a close combat, so I'm going to switch out into Primarina to resist it if he has that move option. But he goes into Porygon 2. That was a double switch from both of us. Because I switched out and he switches out. Now, it sucks that he has Porygon 2 because I know those things carry Thunder Wave. At any point, I could have gone into Vickavolk. But you never know what's going to happen with Porygon 2. I get a critical hit on the Moonblast that I go for. Not going to matter because he has Recover. And that is going to be a theme for this battle because not only does Porygon 2 carry Recover, uh, Sableye has Recover. And it's, it's not going to be a Mega Sableye, which is just like, well, Mega Sableye is really tough to face, but regular Sableye it has Plankster, has access to Recover, Will-O-Wisp, and other things like that, which kind of makes the match go really long. So I finally decided to go into Vickavolt here, reveal that I am a choice scarf. Sort of, I mean, I will be faster than Porygon 2 in general. I don't know. I don't know if Porygon 2 is faster than Vickavolt, but I think my opponent knows I'm a choice scarf. So he goes into Mudsdale, expecting another Thunderbolt. So I switch out, and I go into Salazzle. This is a really dumb switch in because I get hit by a rock slide. It's super effective. I know better than that. But I know I have to hit this Mudsdale sale on the special side because Scalama raises physical defense. So that's kind of why I made that decision. But that just doesn't quite cut it as I get hit by an earthquake. And I got that range of HP, I will go down. I could have done something a lot better than that, but you know what? This is just a friendly match. I'm not going to take things too seriously here. I go with a hidden power ice. It's not very effective, or it's not really super effective, but that's all I've got. I could have gone with a bug buzz, but I thought that wouldn't be super effective either. So that's Vickavolk down. But I can I can go with an ice beam and hit him with that and we can finish him off there. So that means you know we wiggle down most cells HP down to the point where I can just go into Porygon Z, who's one of my main attackers for the battle. Just go with an ice beam and just be done with it. Now here I'm going to reveal my Z power. I'm going to speed this up because that might be the reason why my videos have been copyrighted. All the Z-Power animations. We're going to speed this up a little bit. It's entertaining how Porygon Z uses Breakneck Blitz. It's really hilarious. Now he goes into Sableye after Porygon 2 gets knocked out. I'm not really sure why he did it now because uh, that Z-Power would be it wouldn't work against Sable Eyes, so it's confusing. I guess he just wanted to fogger his Porygon too, so he can bring in Sable Eye fresh. 
So I was thinking, otherwise they could have just gone with a coverage move to hit uh, Saberlight. We kind of see just how annoying Saberlight is because he has Snarl, and that's going to make a huge difference with my Primarina later on. So I do end up going into Primarina, and you know what, you guys? Being paralyzed is just so bad because I have a chance to not attack him when I really should have attacked him. And he has Snarl, which will lower my special attack, meaning that Moonblast will not take out Sableye as quickly as it should be. So right there I get paralyzed. That's great. Not. And he just goes with another Snarl and I lower where he gets to lower my special attack again. And this is bad, because you see just how much a minus two Moonblast does Sableye. Had I not gotten paralyzed, I might be able to take it out. Who knows? But you just see just, it's gonna make a huge difference. Or and he lowers my special attack again. It's just so annoying. I could have switched out and gone with something different. Um. But I really didn't see that working out. And we see that Primarina is going to be useless. So if I can, you know, Death Fogger Primarina, I might be able to bring in something fresh and just go from there. Because we can't really do much. We just can't do much. That's all I'm saying. He goes for Calm Mind. We all know this, right? He raises his special attack, his special defense. Combine that with my minus two modifiers from the Snarl. This is a strategy for disaster. I could have sped this part up, but I didn't. So we're gonna have to stay in here and just watch just how amazing Sableye is right now. And it's not even Mega Sableye, because if it was a Mega Sableye, I think it would have gotten worse. I would have probably forfeited the battle. But you never know. You never know. I could have gotten a critical hit there. I could have, you know, done something. Anyway, so we're done with this skull game. We're going to paralyze, or not paralyze, I mean, we're going to poison. We're going to poison this Sableye. That's the only way I can take this thing out is by poisoning it. I will say this right now, I was actually not 100% into the battle. I was actually watching TV while I was having this battle right here. So I was kind of distracted at times, but you know, that's neither here nor there. You see that I dodge a Will-O-Wisp. It's not that I'm a fire type. Uh, there's a new mechanic in the game in which you might dodge a Will-O-Wisp for some reason, and that's actually good. It makes the match a lot more interesting, and it kind of makes your opponent think, oh, why didn't he get burned? This is suspect. I go for Snarl, and that's good, because I catch Slazzle on his way in, and depending on what set this thing is, he's not going to do much of anything to Persian, because I, I think I EV train this Persian with uh, max HP and max special defense. So we go with another Snarl. He poisons me. And that's, eh, you know what? I'm going to switch out in a little bit anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't matter in the long run. He reveals protect. Not going to matter. I know what that strategy is for. You, know, you poison the target. You go with protect. You take more damage from the poison. The same strategy all around. So he switches out again. He goes to a wishy-washy, which is a water type. Um, its ability schooling kind of makes it a lot stronger. It makes it a lot more beast-like. I really like um, wishy-washy. I have to EV train one. I go with a nice slash. I'm just trying to put some damage onto something. Uh, but I cannot really stay in here for too long because the poison is going to rack up damage. I'm like, okay, what's he going to do? Is he going to go with a waterfall? Is he going to, you know, go with a special attacking move here? We need to get some information about it. this wishy-washy. So, I, you know, take more damage on the poison. 
I am gonna most likely switch out. But then I realized, okay, I don't feel like switching out. We're gonna have to sacrifice Persian, and we can like go with that kind of strategy where it's like, okay, I know what this wishy washy is gonna do. So in the back of my mind, I was going to save my Persian, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to. You know, you have those kind of mind games. Where it's like, I might be able to do this, but I, I don't feel like doing it now, because it's just pointless. So anyway, so, I'm going to go with Porygon Z, we're going to go with a tri attack. He goes with Sludge Bomb, and I survive, but he poisons me, which sucks. I'm just getting all these conditions onto my Pokemon, and they're really making a, a, they're making a significant impact throughout the match. For some reason... I thought Wishy Washy has access to Aqua Jet. I don't know why. Because I just went for Ice Beam, expecting this Wishy Washy to, you know, outspeed me and go with an Aqua Jet. He looks like a Pokemon that can run Aqua Jet. But he does not reveal it, so therefore I lose point on Z in that kind of fashion there. Okay, so we have two Pokemon remaining. On my end here, I have Primarina, who could get paralyzed again, but we don't get paralyzed, nor do we go get flinched. And so we can go to the Moonblast, and we barely miss on the KO on that. But it's okay, because Wishy Washy goes back into regular form, making it a lot less weak. Or, I mean, it, it could have... I could have said that in a lot better fashion there, but I didn't. He's a lot weaker. That's what I'm saying. So, we're going to finish off Wishy Washy, but his last Pokemon, I think, I have to deal with, besides Sableye, is going to be BBQ. And I know what these things do. They set up a Swords Dance, and they go with a Shadow Sneak, making it a priority move, and it has Disguise. So, it's having a substitute from the start up. So, we're going to just lose Primarina. There's really nothing I can do at this point. And we're going to go into Lycanroc. And that's my last Pokemon. So, Lycanroc is having himself hold a Focus Sash. So, I will survive a hit no matter what. Um, he reveals his Z power B, uh, Twinkle Cackle. Twinkle Cackle is a fairy type Z power. Like I said, I have a focus sash, so I will survive this hit. It's really good. Look at this move. It's, it's really good. So we live with that move, but the Shadow Sneak is going to come. I'm going to go with a Sun Rock because it's also priority. And I will speed because Lycan Rock is faster than Mimikyu in general. So I lose this battle, but at the same time, I had fun. And we kind of see just how I fare up with these Pokemon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the match. And I will be posting some Alolan friendly battles by next week. Have a great day, trainers. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you next time. All right, goodbye, trainers.